If I had to rebuild my WordPress site from scratch today, these are the must-have seven, seven plugins that I wouldn't dare to skip. Why? Because after testing hundreds of plugins over the last eight years, I know which ones are worth it and which ones are just slowing down your site. Let me save you weeks of trial and error. And if you're like me and you want to have a written version to refer back to later, I made a clean list for you on my blog. The link is below, no pop-ups, no fluff. All right, so the must-have plugin number seven is an SEO plugin. When you start a WordPress site or a blog, your goal is to get some visitors to it, right? What is the biggest traffic source in the world? Google and search engines in general, because, you know, there is also Bing and some other platforms. And there is a lot that goes into SEO for your site, but the most basic things that you can do and you should do is using an SEO plugin. The oldest and the best known plugin on the market is Yoast SEO. And it is still amazing. And if you started your website with Yoast as I did years ago, then stick with it because making a switch can actually break a lot of stuff in your SEO. But if you're just starting out, I can recommend you to also check Rank Math because the free version of this plugin can give you a bit more features like multiple keywords per post, automatic image SEO, schema also for rich snippets and 401 error monitor. Now the next must have plugin number six is speed optimization with a caching plugin. Now let me say this upfront. No speed plugin will fix a badly built site. If your site is slow because it's overloaded with plugins, huge images and messy code, then a caching plugin isn't going to save you. Speed tools are meant to boost an already well-built site, not create miracles. And your hosting provider is a big deal when it comes to the site speed. When you pay for a hosting service, Make sure that your host does offer CDN servers around the world. If they don't, then your site will be slow for visitors far from your server. For example, Hostinger, which is the hosting provider that I would recommend if you're starting a WordPress site today, they offer this on their most popular plan over here. And yes, your caching plugin should match your host. So for instance, if you're on Hostinger, then you should be using the Lightspeed Cache plugin. It helps your website load faster by caching pages, compressing files, optimizing images and reducing server load. It does all of it and you don't need to touch any code to set this up. We're moving to the next plugin, but if you learned something new and helpful in this video, give me a like. And if you have any questions, I will hang out with you in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. The next must-have plugin is a plugin for legal user consent. Okay, a lot of beginners have told me that they're nervous about getting sued. And it makes sense. People are fed up with websites collecting their data without asking. That's why cookie consent is a must-have for your site. You've probably seen those little banners that pop up when you visit a site. That's what I'm talking about. If you're collecting any kind of data, like tracking visitors with Google Analytics, which you will want to do, then you need to stay compliant with privacy laws like GDPR, CCPA and ePrivacy. That's why I think the plugin called CookieBot CMP from UserCentrix is a must-have. Since I was going to mention it in this video anyway, I reached out to them and they kindly sponsored this part of the video. So it's a cookie consent tool that automatically scans your site, identifies cookies and blocks them until visitors give their permission. And the best part is that it's totally free for smaller websites that can get less than 1000 sessions per month. And as your site grows, their paid plans start at just $8 per month. No tech skills are required, and by the way, it doesn't only work on WordPress, but also on Shopify or Wix, so you just install it like any other plugin or app. So hit the first link in the description to create your free account and give it a try. Okay, now you're legal, 
But let's talk speed again, because there is something else that's secretly slowing down your site. It's probably the last thing that you would expect. And I'll show you how to fix that next. So the next plugin is a plugin for image optimization. Images on your site are the biggest contributor to slowing it down. And slow site has lower chances of ranking well in search results. So you have to do your best to reduce your image size without losing too much quality. When you take photos with your phone or camera, they come out in a high resolution and the image file can be too large. If you have a website with lots of images on every page, like I do on my blog, for example, you definitely need to do something about these images. Of course, even before you upload your images to the WordPress media library, you should do your best to reduce their image in any of your image editing tools. But oftentimes, even that is not enough. To optimize your images to the max and in an automated way, you should install an image optimization plugin. And the best option that I can recommend you is ShortPixel. I use it on my own blogs, but if you are uploading more than 100 images a month, then you will need to use ShortPixel's paid version. It's not very expensive anyway, and you can purchase a pack of 30,000 images in advance for just $20, and it will optimize your new images as you upload them. But I understand that as a beginner, you might prefer to use a completely free plugin, so Imagify is my second best option. You will be able to optimize about 200 images per month for free here, and then of course you would still have to pay for their paid plan. Now, quick question for you. Which plugins are you using right now? Pause and drop it in the comments. Maybe I missed something really important. And let's keep going. So the next must-have plugin is for website backup. Imagine this. You've spent months creating content, optimizing your site, and finally starting to see some traction. And then, out of nowhere, a plugin update fails or your site gets hacked and everything disappears. This happens so often, not having a proper backup system. I don't have to imagine this because it happened to me in real life and more times than you will believe in the first year of blogging while I was doing some necessary regular WordPress updates. It's a nightmare scenario, but beginners face this more often specifically because they don't use a backup plugin. So I can recommend you Duplicator, it's a WordPress plugin that allows you to create a full backup of your site. If something goes wrong during an update or migration, then you can restore your site in minutes. It also has backup presets for specific site components and cloud storage integration with platforms like Google Drive and Dropbox. What I love the most is how beginner-friendly it is. Even if you are not tech-savvy, you can set it up in just a few clicks. It saved me more than once from losing valuable work on my site. If you are still watching, then you are exactly the kind of a viewer that I make these videos for. Give this a like so YouTube knows that you want more tutorial like this one. Alright, backups are covered, but let me ask you this. Are you building an audience? If not, then you are leaving money on the table. The next plugin helps you start your email list fast and for free. So let's talk about email forms. When you have a new website, you probably don't think about building your email list right away. Many people make this mistake and they waste so much potential revenue. So starting an email list from the beginning helps you build a loyal audience on your site. You can check, for example, WP Forms plugin to create email forms. It has a free version, you can find it in WordPress plugin library and install it like over 6 million other users already did. There are many extra features that you will get access to on their paid plans, but I want to mention something important, that integrations with lots of email marketing providers, including MailerLite, Kit, and others are available starting from the Plus plan on this plugin. Now that you're collecting emails, let's talk about traffic, because no one will see your content unless they can easily share it. And that's what the next plugin is all about. So the plugin is called Hubbub. This one is a plugin for social sharing buttons. 
Habab has a free version that offers you basic social share buttons with limited options and it doesn't include any advanced settings specifically for Pinterest buttons. It does have Pinterest sharing in the free version, don't get me wrong, but I personally use the paid version to get all the advanced settings for Pinterest, you know, because this platform drives me the majority of traffic to my blog. So it might be different for your niche or site. And if you don't rely on Pinterest that much, then you could just use the free Habab plugin, but it's not that expensive anyway. It's $49 per year for one website. Now, if you watched my channel for a while, you probably know that I share a lot about my Pinterest marketing strategy. And I have to tell you honestly, a big part of your success on Pinterest is covered by this small but mighty plugin that has very advanced settings specifically for Pinterest buttons. Using the right settings, especially for users on mobile devices, you can increase the number of shares from your site on Pinterest like a lot and get a lot more traffic. And if you want to learn more about growing traffic from Pinterest, then check my video linked up there. I'll show you how I consistently get about 70,000 monthly sessions of free traffic from Pinterest. I'll see you in the next video.